Namaste and welcome to React Bits. In this series, we are developing a starter template for our Flutter Upright applications. In the first part, we have already set up our Flutter project. We have done the basic setup, created new project, added all the required dependencies. Now, in this part, we will create and set up our upright project, set up the config that is required by upright SDK in our app Flutter application, and then we'll create basic login and sign up page and maybe an API service that will handle the login and sign up methods. So let us get started with episode two. In order to continue, you'll need your own hosted AppRite console. If you have not already set up AppRite, you can follow along with my introductory tutorials. The link is provided here in the description below, or you can head over to AppRite.io where you can find the docs on how to set it up. You only need Docker pre-installed in your system to set up AppRite. It's quite easy. Okay. Once you have set up your AppRite and signed up in the AppRite console, Go to your console and tap the create project button and here we'll name our project Plotter app right starter. So this will be our starter template. Now we need a few things. First we need to add the platform so that our app will be recognized without adding the platform. Our app when making API request, well, we'll get a permission error. So add platform, new Flutter app, and then we are working with Android. And we need a package name. We can find the package name from Android builder Gradle. So Android app builder Gradle file. If you go down here, we can find the application ID. We need to copy this application ID and paste it here and then register. Next thing we need, we need our endpoint and the project ID. So let me copy the project ID endpoint. I can remember. Let's create a config file or constants file that will hold our endpoints and project details. So here app constant project and then this is my endpoint okay we have done this. Now we'll create basic login and sign up page. So in pages, let's say we have features general. Let's create another feature called auth. So auth and in pages, I'll create login dot start. Okay. I have a basic login page. I'll just copy paste my code. Okay, we don't have app caller set up, so I'll just use primary caller here from team. Okay, so I have the basic login page. Let's see how it looks by replacing it in our app dot dot instead of this. Let's use login page. Let's save. You can see we have our basic login page. Let's make it okay. Might add some height here. Okay, so we now have the 
login page we can create our sign up page so let's create let's just copy this and create another page in auth pages sign up dot dart let's paste it and we need only one more thing that is the name field so let's add full name and let's call this sign up page and in app we can use sign up page to see how it looks so we need to change the text from login to sign up so where is it login sign up not working oh i changed in the login not sign up page so here sign up and then change this text to login and I can simply do POP pop let's set up some routes so in order to set up route in the rest core resource folder will set up a file called routes.dart okay and in routes.dart we will set up our route so let us create a static class for our routes our home route will be slash the root route login sign up okay let's create on generate route method that we can pass to our material app let's import dynamic Here we get route settings settings okay? and here we can return material page route and builder will get context now for name route what we can simply do switch settings dot name and case home we can return home page case login login page case sorry sign up sign up page okay we have basic route we can Pass the on generate route to our material app. So not home after dart. Here our home should be. We don't even need this home if we pass. On generate route we can pass. App routes dot on generate route. If we save it. Okay. Null value maybe we can pass home as login page and in login page once we tap to sign up we can go to app routes dot sorry sign up so that will get to sign up page see and if we tap on login we'll go back to login page and if we tap on login we should go to home page for now we will not handle login right now so we can simply say dot push replacement named 
app crowds dot home so that when we tap login we get to the home page okay what's going on app crowds dot home let's see case home it should return home page but i'm returning ah okay so our slash is returning login page here so this might be the case so we should set up route a bit differently so for us our home or default page for now is login as well and we can create another route called let's say logged in home we can call it home and then logged in home we can return home page and in our login the dart instead of home logged in home so that when we tap in our login button we'll get to the home page all right so we have set up our login and sign up page basic just the ui and then we have set up our basic routes that we can handle in order to move from login sign up to home page next thing we'll set up an api service that will talk to our app right endpoint and allow us to sign up and login so in the core data in service folder let us create api service dot dart we'll call this class API service and then we'll set up our upright clients and before that I'd like to make this API service a singleton because we do not require multiple instances of this if you do not know what singleton is or how to make singleton in Dart, you can find my video on singleton. The link is provided also in the description below. So for singleton, let's set up static instance that will hold the instance of this class. We'll make an in internal constructor. And we'll make a instance getter if underscore instance null then we simply create new instance internal using the internal constructor okay so let us set up few things for app write let us first import right and we'll set up client and other things client and then account account maybe database DB okay now we will set up the client set endpoint our endpoint is constants dot endpoint then set project constants dot project okay something like this okay client setup now account client and db can also be database and client let us now create sign up and login method they are quite simple so sign up for sign up we need name email password 
we can for now we can simply return account dot p8 name name email email password password okay so as simple as this similarly for sign in or login we don't need name and instead of create we have create session we pass in email and password now in our sign up page we can set up basic controllers make it a stateful widget and handle sign up, sign in and sign up however what we'd like our starter application to have is a state management solution for that we have already added riverport package so in the next episode we will set up riverport as well as we'll use the api service to authenticate our users allow them to sign up and log in and handle the state properly so that whenever user is logged in we redirect them to home page by default thank you for watching this tutorial if you like more of these videos please let me know in the comments and do like share and subscribe so that i'll keep making these videos also see you again in the next episode